Dear Father, please protect us today. Please protect everyone. Please make us all feel better if we are sick. Please make everyone safe from Corona. Please protect us all. Please forgive all our sins. Please protect everyone everywhere. Please protect us. Please help us learn to why it's important to read the Bible. Please protect us every single time and everywhere. Amen. Church. My name is Master Sbanda and today I'm going to talk about why it is important to read the Bible. Today I'm going to tell you a story about, about a boy named Peter and his sister Susan. Peter was playing outside and accidentally killed his mother's, his grandmother's Jack. So his sister was watching this. She came down to Peter and said, I know, I know how to help you cover this up, but you have to pay me back. So, so Peter did not know what to do, but he agreed with his sister. So then his sister told him what to do so grandmother wouldn't find out about her, about her, about her pet duck. So, so Peter, so Peter was playing one day and his sister said, Peter, go and do my chores. But Peter asked why. Then, he, then she said, do you remember what you did about grandmother's duck? Then Peter started doing his sister's chores every day. Peter got tired and asked his sister if he could play. But his sister said, 
Do you want me to tell Grandma that what you did? But Peter did not want any anyone to know what he did. So he kept on doing his chores. One day, Peter got tired of his sister bossing, Minara, bossing him around and telling him to do her chores. So Peter went to tell his grandmother. His grandmother said to him, I knew it all along. I was waiting for you to tell me the truth. Now, now Peter had said, if, if, if I just told you the truth instead of doing all my, my sister's chores, I would, have, I, would have, I would have been playing all along and doing my own chores. So, so we learned that we should, we, we, we should not lie at, at all. We should just tell the truth so that, we, so that, so that when one day passes, it, everything will be okay. And our verse comes from Pro, Proverbs 28, verse 13. He that, conf, he that confesses his sins shall not prosper, but he who confesses, but he who con, confesses and forsakes them shall have mercy. So we should tell the truth even though we are going to get in trouble for it. Thank you. When we go, go, go to heaven, what it did that to be? When we sit, sit, sit with Jesus on the welcome table? When we ate, 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 ate Joseph Rose in the garden? because it didn't even hurt. It was a little pinch. My grandma, I called her mama, she pulled it out for me and she gave me a little case to put it in. But something happened. I went to my family's house and I pulled it out to show them. 
and it fell and I lost it. I looked under the carpet. I looked in between the couches. I looked under the couches everywhere, but it couldn't be found. On the way home, I was crying and crying. I prayed and prayed and wondered if God would find it for me. But four days later, I got a call with very, very special news. My tooth was found! Yay! And you know what? That reminds me of a Bible verse. It's John 14, 14. And if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 14. So today, my friend, I want to pray that God will find anything you need. It's maybe a tooth or it's maybe your joy. No matter how small it is or no matter how big it is, God will find it for you. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day you have made. Please help my friend. Please give them what they need. No matter how small it is or no matter how big it is, thank you for this day. Help us to love you more and more and learn about you more and more. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And remember, Jesus loves you and I'm praying for you. It's a little different eating with a gap in your mouth. This granola sure tastes good.